Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick video on these mini Ingenuity helicopters that I designed. I made a 3D printed version as well as a cardboard version and I'll put a link in the description for instructions on how to make these as well as the 3D models and the flat pattern PDF. So you just, for the PDF, you just print it out at 100% scale and then uh, just cut along the dotted lines, glue it to a piece of cardboard and with a little tape, you're good to go. And the electronics for this is only like $8, $10, I think. It's one of those toys that you can control with your hand. And for the 3D printed version, it's pretty straightforward. You just print the body, you print the shoes, you just, uh, cut some small rods and then insert them into the holes in the body. And then if you want, you can dress it up with this foil. And this is like the same stuff NASA uses in space for thermal properties. It's the, you know, the emergency blankets that people use, but I found one that has gold on one side and silver on the other. And then that worked out and then some little NASA stickers. But basically I just cut some of this film and then I used spray adhesive and then kind of just wrapped it like a present and then trimmed all the corners. I think it came out pretty cool. Even the cardboard version, I was gonna put the foil around it, but I actually like the way it looks kind of like drawn up like that. So if you notice when these are flying, the body tends to rotate and this is normal. And this is why most helicopters we're used to seeing have a tail rotor and that tail rotor is there to stabilize the body and help give precise control of the direction. So you're probably wondering how the NASA Ingenuity on Mars controls the direction. And it does that because it has a complex assembly of motors on the shaft that independently control the collective and cyclic pitch of the rotors. And the Ingenuity can also independently control the speed of the top and the bottom set of rotors. These are linked together with gears, so it's pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio. So it can independently increase and decrease the drag of these two sets. And when it does that, it can change the direction that the helicopter is facing. Okay guys, well, hope you liked that video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And until next time, see you guys later, bye. No!